In this tutorial, I will be helping you to do the first practice pieces of week four. Now in week four, we're going to be using SOLIDWORKS rather than to make parts to actually start to put them together. So ideally, when we'd finish, we'd end up with a part that looked like this. So it's obviously two, two sections, just like how you've glued it together as well. But obviously, if I look at that, that's one, two, three, four, and the back piece, five parts on this top one. And then here is going to be the base one, the two sides, two, three, and then the two bits on the front. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, or well, obviously there's there's inner parts here as well. So there's a lot of pieces that we need to put together. So when it's talking through how to do the first one, okay. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to download and save these into your area. Okay, so if I click on them, you'll see at the bottom here I've already got the files. So I'm just going to click on there and go uh, show in folder because I want to actually copy them across into my area. And it was base bottom and I think base back. Okay, so I'm just going to grab those two. So I'm going to use the uh, shift button to select both of them. I'm going to go right click and copy. And I'm going to go into my uh, documents areas. You probably want to go to computer, find the one that's got your initials on, into your uh, design engineering. And here we go, I've got a folder called the box. And I'm just going to go right click and paste. So I'm copying, so it's really important that I copy those across. I'm not trying to open them because if I open them, they'll open as parts. And I don't want to open them as parts. I want to make a new assembly. And then I'm going to bring these two parts into that and bring them together. Okay, so I'm just going to open up SolidWorks. And I'm going to go File and New. And I'm not going to pick part because I don't want to make a new part. The parts are all done for me. I'm now going to select assembly. So I click on the middle one here and say OK. All right, there's it opened up. OK, and down the side, it's already given me the option here to say which, which part would I like to open. OK, so that's what it's going to say. So I'm just going to click the green tick here. I'm going to ignore this first, but I'm just going to go green tick. OK, and then I'm going to show you the, the kind of the, the working thing. So you can bring all the parts in the same idea. So I'm going to go insert component at the top. And I'm going to click on browse. And I'm going to navigate my way to my folder, which was uh, in my sorry, gone to the wrong folder. So, uh, so computer, find one with your name on. Uh, design engineering folder and the box and hopefully you'll see those two parts are there there we go okay so I'm going to bring in the base bottom to start with because that's going to be that where I build everything from and say open okay all right and there's this part here so I'm just going to click that right in the center and that first bit's gone in okay uh, top tip for you, if you hold the mouse wheel and actually push that in you, and then move the mouse around, you can actually kind of spin it around the way. Okay, that's quite useful because you need to be able to turn this around. Okay, things to note on this piece, obviously, that this is the single wall at the back and this is the double wall here at the front. So there's going to be two parts that go on here, and then the side here, the other side, and then the back piece. Okay, so that's my first bit in. I'm now going to go back to insert component. And this time I'm going to bring in the back. So I click on back and again say open. And that piece is going to come in there. Okay, and I just click where I want to put it. Now I'm not putting it too close because I need to kind of be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to use the mouse wheel in and out. And again, sometimes hold the mouse wheel so I can spin that around so I see what I'm doing. Okay, now basically what we're doing is we're putting a jigsaw puzzle together, if you like but it's a 3D jigsaw puzzle. So obviously because we're working in three dimensions, I need to attach the two bits in three ways. Okay, now that process of adding them together is called a mate. Okay, so that's how I go at doing our first mate. So I'm going to mate to start with the two underneath parts. So I'm going to say that this part here and this part here are going to be level. Okay, so these two bits here are going to be level. So I start by saying mate up here. Okay, and I always want to make sure I picked coincident. That's the one we always use. Okay, so it was mate and then coincidence. And then I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and the two parts I'm adding together. So I'm going to just click on this, the, the underneath, okay, of the base. 
and then I'm going to click, and I'm just going to sort of zoom in so you can see really clearly what I'm doing. I'm just going to click that surface there. So it's not the edge, it's not one of these edges or anything like that, or a point. I've got to be quite careful. Okay, it's going to be that whole flat area. And you'll see that the whole thing gets highlighted when I zoom over. So I click on there, and you should see when you click that that it actually moves and it does something. Okay, so when I'm happy with that, that's right. I'm just going to do the green tick, and that's my first mate done. So now, if I try and move that piece away from there, it won't kind of go up and down. It'll go side to side, it'll go that way, but it's not actually ever going to move away from that, that surface there. Okay, they're always going to be level now. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two bits, this back here, flat with this part here. So I click on the back of my back piece. Again, click on coincidence. Okay, and I'm going to select the back of one of the fingers there because those two need to be level so I click there okay and again you should see a little bit of movement and that's fine it's going in so I push the green tick to say that I'm happy okay so if I zoom out the way now okay the only parts where it'll move is that way it can't move up and down it can't move sort of side to side all it can move is across the way okay so it's not quite in yet so I'm nearly in okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at two of the fingers where it needs to join together. So it's, so when it's finished, it should be kind of almost in there. So I'm just going to slide a little bit to the right, just so I can kind of get in and see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just get my, sort of position myself so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just holding the mouse wheel and rotating it. Okay, so this part here is going to touch that part there. Okay, so I'm going to select that part there. And again, just click on a coincidence. And then holding the mouse wheel and just spinning it around so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to select that other part there. So these are the two bits that are going to be touching. So I click there and that's that final bit where they come together. And I can just green tick that. Okay, so there's my first part of the mating done. I've added the back to the base. Okay, now obviously the next bit would just be again going to insert components and I'd bring the next piece in. Okay, one skill I will show you, and I'm just going to sort of grab one of the bits. In fact, actually, let's do it properly. I'm going to go to the website. So when I've done those, I'll just scroll down to the next link, which is bringing the next piece. Okay, so the next piece here is saying, um, can you add in the front catch? Okay, so again, I would need to click on there. Again, I need to open it in the folder, so show in folder. I would need to, uh, this is called the base front, so I'm just going to copy that. And again, that's going to go into my design engineering folder. So I click on computer, design engineering, the box, and paste into here. Okay, so i bring that bit in. I insert browse, and it was called base front. Okay, and that's going to go in there. Now, so far, all the pieces we brought in have actually been in the right alignment. Now, it might happen to be that the piece comes in and it's completely the wrong way around. So I'm just going to briefly show you how to do that if it's wrong. Okay, so if it's wrong, you need to just right click on the piece that you're interested in. And about halfway down, you'll see the option of move with triad. If you click on there, you get a strange kind of three-way wheel. And that allows us to be able to spin the part around. So obviously this part at the moment is right. It would fit on there nicely. But if it was the wrong way around, say I wanted to put it on this side, how would I get it around that side? Okay, well I'd use this wheel here and I could spin that around that way. Okay, and then what I'd do is I'd sort of move it over to here and then I'd be able to just do my normal mating thing there. Okay, so I'll just recap that again. So if you need to move a piece, if it's the wrong way around, so if I want to now put this back to where it should be, I can just right click on the part, but halfway down it says move with triad, okay, and then I can spin that around, okay, to the, 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 the section I want. And it is quite fiddly to be able to work out which way you wanted to do it. So when you're doing that, you might want to just, you might do it two or three times, it might get a little bit higgledy piggledy, don't worry. All right, you can always control Z, undo it, and try again. Okay, so once that piece there is then mated on, that will be the silver badge, and you'll upload that. For the uh, let's have a look. So yes, you're going to add that front catch on, mate it to the base. So you have those three bits together. That'll be your screenshot using the snipping tool, and that'll be for your silver. Okay. Going on to gold, you have two more parts that you'll need to um, 
download and then save into your area and add these two bits in. So the side part, obviously you put one of those in, but you'll import that twice because both sides are identical piece. And then you've got the front part as well. Okay, good luck.